Hey, it's Joe Lines, and in this video I'm going to demonstrate a little bit of how you can use Excel's macro recorder to help write your auto hotkey code for um, automating using Excel. And that sure sounded confusing even to myself, but um, here we go. So in a previous video where I talked about the alignment of uh, setting the alignment of cells in Excel, um, I mentioned this constant, this these, these three constants here, right? What I've done here is instead of going down into the function, I just want to demonstrate this this line here. This is where I borrowed it from here. I just said, oh, you know what, I'm going to break it out of the function uh, and put it back into where I've hard-coded in the range, I've hard-coded in the constant, so it's just a little easier to follow. So let me go ahead and get rid of all of this, right? The What's left here is still getting the, the handle to the, the Excel file, but let's get that out of the way for right now. And when I set this, let's see if I reload and launch, um, of course that would have been, I probably already did this, so let me come in here and move it left. Now I'm going to launch my hotkey, and it moved it, that's the right, minus 4152 is the right alignment. Well, let's say you didn't know what that was, and let's say actually that you didn't even know what this was right? How would I go about doing this? Now this is just an example here with the alignment, obviously I'm giving it to you, but um, if something else comes up and you don't know what it is and you can't find help in the auto hotkey forum or on Stack Overflow or wherever you look, right, a great thing to be able to do is use the macro recorder inside Excel. Um, I've made, now if you come up under view macros, here's where you can say record macros and view macros and all the stuff. Um, I'm extremely lazy, so I make um, shortcut buttons to my, what is this thing called, the uh, quick access toolbar. This way they're one touch away, right? So I'm going to record a macro. <coughs> Let's say I want to record this, so I'm going to hit OK. Now I noticed when I click this again, they'll stop. So I'm going to come in and I'm going to, let's say I was trying to learn how to do left align. Okay? Now I just did that, and this is, it, to me it's, it's not critical, but it's really helpful. Is you do one thing, right, and hit stop. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go view that code, and in the macro, um, it is going to tell you, so here's the quote-unquote tricky part, right? So see this XF horizontal, XF left, right? That was what I just did. But if you put in the words XL left, it will not work in auto hotkey. I can't put in this XL left in here, and, and it would not run. But notice... Let me see here. So we have, let me make this all visible here. We come back here. Okay. So here it's saying range select A1 to C1, right? That was the range here. We kind of get that. Excel has a width statement. So with the selection, so after you select it with that, it's going to do whatever you have in here. Um, I could, if I wanted to streamline, I can go ahead and get rid of all of this from the macro. Um, and then it's it's basically still going to say, okay, now with the selection, do the select XL left. Again, that is not going to help you um, in auto hotkey. However, here is the awesome um, thing here, is, is you right click over it and say quick info. Now see that minus 4131? That is the value, um, and I guess I shouldn't have deleted them down here because it would have been nice to have shown you, but let's just go ahead and do it, right? So so 4152, and I'm just going to do this, so what was it here? Um, of course I forgot that, let's quick info, minus 4131, so my, oops, minus 4131. I'm going to leave the 4152, and I'm going to come back here, and now I'm going to right align these, and now I'm going to save my script, reload, and launch. And there it did the left alignment for me, right? So hopefully you followed how I got that constant. Um, you can go back and to view your code and highlight the macro and go into list uh, quick info. And here we see what XL left equals minus 4131, right? That's what you put into your auto hotkey code. Um, you still might need made need to make some other tweaks if you didn't have the other stuff, but you need to understand, you know, is it a range you're doing something to, or are you changing the color to a graph, right? You need to figure that out. But this constants, this is what's a great thing that you can, you can, um, once you understand how to get the constant, because that's the one thing, it, it gives you the other stuff, but without having the constant, it, it won't work. And, um, 
However, having said that, I have a list here, um, and actually I even put it for a little bit easier reading here in this Excel file, um, and I'll put this online. It's not every constant out there, so I found um, a couple links that are that are decent, but um, it has a lot of them, but of course, even then, you're not going to know necessarily these descriptions are pretty decent, um, but they're, they're not that good. Uh, they're not perfect. Let me see if I can bring up I think it was this one where I overall liked the flow of how it was showing the um, the constants depending on you can jump around to the different objects right and it would list what they are the value you need and then kind of what they do um, I didn't find a way to easily iterate over all these and dump them which would have been nice but uh, but still, you can come in here and insert for what you're doing, right, and get that value. Um, that's the key important thing. But that's it. Hopefully you, you get that. And uh, using that Excel macro recorder is, is a great, easy way to be able to help supplement writing auto hotkey code to, um, you know, use COM inside Excel if you can't find something else in the forum. Thank you.